started canning, there was a lot of terms and words that I didn't really understand. So we're gonna cover a few of them here to hopefully help you know what they are when you're making a recipe. There's obviously a lot more terms, but I'll just focus on some of the main ones in this video. Brine, a salt water solution used in pickling or when preserving foods. Although salt and water are the main ingredients, sugar and spices are sometimes added. Bubble remover, a non-metallic utensil used in canning to remove or free air bubbles trapped inside the jar. To ensure appropriate headspace, the air bubbles should be removed before the two-piece closure is applied. I'll explain more on that. Fingertip tight is the degree to which the screw bands are properly applied to the jars. So you use your fingers to screw it on right when you meet resistance, and then you go a teeny more to fingertip tight. Um, you don't use a utensil or the full force of your hands to over tighten the bands. You just do it right to where it meets resistance and then just a smidge more. Uh, funnel. This is a plastic utensil that is placed over the mouth of the jar to allow for easy pouring of food products and it helps you not waste food. So you just do like this. So the headspace is the unfilled space in the canning jar between the top of the food or the liquid and the underside of the lid. The correct amount of headspace is essential to allow for the food to expand as the jars are heated and for the formation of that strong vacuum seal as the jar cools. So if you don't follow it properly, food can leak out and it won't form a proper seal. The lid, this thing right here, is a flat metal disc with a flanged, flanged edge here that used in combination with the metal screw band helps do that vacuum seal where the jar is. So that's the lid. This is the band, which is a threaded metal band. And when you use that in combination with the lid, it helps create that vacuum seal. So the band helps hold the lid in place during the processing cooking time. So processing time, it's the period of time in which the jars are filled and heated in the boiling water. The time must be sufficient to heat the coldest part of the jar. So the processing time is specified in each recipe and that dep depends on what you're canning, but make sure you follow it exactly. Uh, pectin is a naturally occurring carbohydrate found in fruits and vegetables and that helps them retain their structure. So it decreases naturally as the foods ripen and they start to get mushy and things like that. So you can actually commercially buy pectin and use it when making jams, jellies, and spreads in your recipes. A word that I say all the time and you're gonna hear me say a lot in this course is recipe, follow the recipe, follow the recipe. What does that mean? It means to follow a tested and approved recipe. And that is something that has been literally tested in a lab to ensure the acidity, all the things combined in that recipe give you a safe result at the end. A rolling boil means that something is boiling super hard that when you try to stir it, it continues to boil, it doesn't die down. It is just full on bubbles versus a simmer is when you have the bubbles just gently going from the bottom of the pot up and they kind of touch the surface and they're just kind of like simmering. But if you were to stir it or do anything like that, they would die down. That's simmering versus that rolling boil where it is a full on boil. So those are some of the terms that I needed to know before I really started canning and hopefully it helps you understand it a little bit better.